Gentlemen, on a scale of 1 to awesome, you are an 11.5. Because you are a subscriber to the Alpha M channel and you just dropped me one of those. Nope, not yet, Alpha. You gotta work for it. Alright, fine. You want me to work for it, gentlemen? Today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going over seven everyday things you are doing wrong. The first thing that most of you are doing wrong is all about flying, gentlemen. When you're flying, you ever wonder why after a trip you always get sick? The reason is because an airplane is a flying bacterial burrito. All of the air recirculating that you are breathing. <coughs> Coughing and hacking. You get home from your trip and you're like, yo, I'm Cool, I feel pretty good. Thank God I didn't get sick this time. And then a week later, what happens? Exactly, you're sick. The reason is because you didn't flush. Your sinuses. Gentlemen, one trick that I have learned over the years of traveling is that one thing that I do when I land is actually rinse my sinuses out with just some regular saline solution. The stuff is cheap. You can find it at drug stores or grocery stores for like $5. And as soon as I land, I go to the bathroom, I grab this and one, two, and three. As soon as you land, you go to that bathroom, you wash your hands for like five minutes in scalding hot water to get all the germs and bacteria off of these, and you simultaneously use a saline solution to actually rinse out and clean your sinuses. This has drastically reduced the amount of times I get sick after. The second thing that most dudes do wrong has to do with their stinky ass workout clothes. The reason why your workout clothes end up smelling like a dead animal, even after like a few wears, is because you are not properly taking care of them after you work out. Instead, what you're doing, you're just wadding it up, boom, tossing it into the hamper, boom, tossing it into the washing machine. The problem with this is that washing machines and hampers are dark. They're damp. Actually, this is damp. And then what happens? It's all wadded up. It doesn't allow it to dry. And when you've got dark, damp anything, just like your balls, it ends up smelling. And the reason is because of bacteria. The solution, after you work out, you take off your clothes and then bang, lay it out, boom, over the tub, boom, over the shower, let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can safely toss it in the hamper or washing machine. So this next thing that most guys do wrong is all about cleaning your blades. All right, so when you're shaving, what most dudes do is they go a few little strokes and then and just run their blade under the water like this. Unfortunately, this does not actually get the gunk out of the blade. Instead, what I want you to do prior to shaving is fill up your sink with warm water. All right, so here's the deal. You don't need to fill your sink completely up. An inch, two inches will be perfect. Do your thing, and then when you're ready to rinse, give it a shake, one, two, three, four, five, and then give it a little tap, one, two, three, four, five, back in the water, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and completely clean blade. And when you're finished, put the water out, rinse out the sink so your wife doesn't divorce you. If you missed the video I did talking about some things that are slowly making you ugly, I will link to that video down below. But one of the things is not replacing your blades. Alpha, I can't afford to replace my expensive ass blades every week. Good news, Brian, with Dollar Shave Club, you don't have to worry about picking between shaving and replacing your blades and feeding your 27 cats. Dollar Shave Club is the best razor on the market, period. They are also today's video sponsor. They are are the best. Gentlemen, here's the deal. There is no reason for you to have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on blades every month when Dollar Shave Club can make it happen and ship them directly to you at your door for a fraction of the price. There's a link down below, dollarshaveclub.com slash alpha. It is our special custom link. You got to go through that. But if you do, you can grab the ultimate shave starter set for $5. What you're going to get is the super sexy executive handle with some bad ass blades. You got a one ounce tube of the Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub. This stuff is incredible. It's an exfoliating scrub you use prior to shaving. It removes the dead skin. It also helps release the trapped hair so they don't become like ingrown and infected and all nasty. And then you shave with the Dr. Carver Shave Butter. This stuff is incredible. It's cooling. It is translucent so you can see what you're actually shaving as opposed to just shaving blind and jacking up your edges. You also get the one ounce tube of the Dr. Carver's Post Shave Dew. This stuff is incredible. After you shave, guys, a little bit of this helps smooth, hydrate, and keep you feeling sexy. Well, this shaving amazingness can be yours, gentlemen, for $5 if you hit our special link down below and go to Dollar Shave
Club.com slash alpha. And then after that, guys, regular boxes ship to you at regular price directly to your door. Is it hot in here or are my pits just sweaty? Because I didn't do the fourth thing that most dudes do wrong every day, which is not apply your antiperspirant deodorant at night. If you don't want this to happen to you, gentlemen, you gotta start putting on your antiperspirant deodorant at night. And the reason is because the ingredients that make this antiperspirant need time, a few hours, to actually go in and do their thing. The problem is that most dudes like you and me this morning actually applied my antiperspirant deodorant after the shower. And it doesn't have enough time to get in there and do what it does. And so as a result, it's not able to stop this. But wait, there's more. There's another reason why putting on your antiperspirant deodorant deodorant at night is a good reason. When you wake up, right, you've been sleeping for like eight or nine hours, your pits tend to stink. And when spicy senorita pants that's laying next to you wants to get all frisky, don't worry about her like nuzzling into your armpit and getting a whiff of your nasty ass B.O. Increasing the likelihood that you get action. The fifth everyday thing that you are potentially doing wrong is using the wrong nail clipper on your feet. Have you ever wondered why there are two different size nail clippers? Well, the reason is because one is designed for your hands and this one, the bigger one, is designed for your big possum feet. The clippers designed for your nails are going to be a little bit smaller in terms of the opening. They're also going to be shorter. You don't need the leverage on your nails on your hands because they're not as thick as your feet. But toenail clippers, notice that the opening is a little bit wider. You you also have a much longer nail clipper and the reason is because you're going to need more leverage to get through those thick ass nails. So in terms of trimming your nails on your hands or your feet guys there are a few steps I want you to go through. Number one is always do it after the shower. The shower, the water, the steam will soften everything up. If you just go and try and clip it dry a lot of times this is going to break or cause the nails to be a little bit more jagged and brittle. If you clip then I want you to actually use the nail file on your feet or your hands. This is actually to smooth the jagged edges that are created when you clip them. And then that little tip is actually designed to be used to go underneath and clean your nails after you clip and file. The sixth everyday thing that a lot of you guys are doing wrong is shaving too high and actually shaving off your sideburns. Guys, sideburns are there to help balance and frame your face. Never shave your sideburns up too high. You want them to come down a little bit, all right? At least to the middle of that little thing that sticks out of your ear. If you want to go a little bit lower, what I'd recommend is angle them slightly. And the reason is because this is going to help follow the angle of your jawline and just give your sideburns a little more style, attitude, and edge. Sorry, little, little chin flake action. You know, it happens to the best of us, right? Actually, it does. And that's the reason why it's the seventh thing most dudes do wrong, which is not use a moisturizer on their chin. Things that a lot of guys do wrong that have facial hair is just use their moisturizer on the exposed skin. You gotta make sure that you're using enough to actually get in and moisturize the skin underneath the scrub. If the moisturizer for your face isn't enough and you still get a little chin dandruff, guys, then you should definitely be using a beard balm. All right, beard balms, right? They come like this. All you do, boom, put it in your hand, emulsify it, it heats up, and then you just go in there and smooth it. And what you're going to find when you use a beard balm is that it stops the chin flakes and it also helps to smooth and add a little shine to your whiskers. So Brian, now, are you ready? Mmm, death kidding. That's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. I think you are amazing.